Victorious Creative Crafts coming to you live today on October the 8th, 2019. Well, y'all, I tell you what, I am back from retreat. I'm back from that little handy dandy deal going on up in Tennessee. It was wonderful. It was Cindy's Cross Stitch Retreat. If you didn't get to go and you had to cancel, I'm so sorry you missed it. We had a wonderful time up there. And thank you so much for coming. If you did come, I enjoyed meeting so many new ladies. And there was probably about 25 or 26 of us, I think. So several had to cancel, and I get it. You know, things come up and that kind of stuff. But it was so much fun. So maybe next year, if Cindy decides to do this again, we'll 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 meet up again next year. You know, that kind of stuff. So um, anyway, coming back to you. Uh, first thing, I wanted to let you know that... Uh, I got the random comment generator. Oh, all these bells around here. Is that crazy or what? Another alarm. I got an appointment at 11 o'clock. So, you know, got to hit that shortly. Anyway. So, anyway. um, Sorry. Just totally forgot what I was doing. The random comment generator. I'll insert that video here in just a second. This was for the winner for the... um. The fabric giveaway that I was going to do, um, favorite my favorite Halloween candy, and this was for the fabric that I actually bought for my um, Little Sheep's Virtues, and it's a week's dye work, and it just moves too much, and I just can't handle it, so I was opting out to give that away. So I will insert that random comment generator picker here. Okay, you little floss tube winners. Let's see who we can get the win for the um, My Favorite Candy giveaway. We were giving away the uh, fiber, um, I don't know, fiber, the 12 pieces of week's um, fabric. Pardon the uh, box I got up here. I'm using it for a prop in a little while. Okay, I got the um, random comment generator picker from YouTube and then this is the actual page here and I think I got this right you pick the actual uh, link and then you come over here to your generator and you put in the link and filter comments by specific text and the text requesting was what was your favorite candy I wonder if I ought to put that favorite, I'm doing this one-handed, favorite candy. Okay. Uh, Tessa, okay, got it. Oh, and I got the link, filter duplicate users. Okay, get comments. No comments found. Are you sure there are comments? Hmm. Okay, YouTube comment generator picker. Hmm, okay. You pick the... Maybe I need to go to the actual studio. We'll try this. And we'll change this just in case. And then get YouTube comments. Hmm, didn't enter it right. Okay, well, let me see here. What am I doing wrong, people? This is the first time I've used this. So, okay, where do I find this? Ah, oh, copy down at the bottom. Okay, well, let's see if we can do that. Let's see, share. We'll get share. There we go copy and then we'll go random i hope you can see this and then let's go back up here to the link control v and comments no comments are you kidding me there's 44 comments of people who picked their favorite candy so how do you do this hmm interesting people interesting so we are learning Mm-hmm. There's the comments. Okay. Filter. All right. Let's take out favorite. Take this out. And there we go. I took out favorite. 
Okay, amount of unique commenters was 13. So now we go over here to this one. We're going to start this. We know we got 13, and out of the 13, it's picking Jackie Stevens. She said, have a wonderful time in Knoxville, Tennessee. It's such a beautiful state. My favorite Halloween candy is candy corn. So, Jackie Stevens, you are my winner for the fabric giveaway. Yay! All right. I'm going to return back to my video. Thank you. You got that video out of the way. Congratulations, Jackie. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I will comment on your comment, and maybe we can, uh, you know, swap an address here and there and that kind of stuff and then get this to you so you can have these uh, these fibers for your collection to do whatever you would like with. That would be wonderful. Um, I need to write your name. Jackie. I don't, I'm not going to call last names. If you're looking on my um, uh, comment, you'll know. So, there we go. Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner as we say it in the south all right now got that done uh nancy i know you made a comment and we chit chatted i hope you see my video about the uh fall fabric so heads up i got some uh i got the, uh one more thing i got to get purchased right quick and then that fabric uh bag will be mentioned to you so i hope you like that as well then uh, a lady that I actually met at the Cindy's Cross Stitch Retreat thing, she had um, requested that I find some fabric for her. Heidi, Heidi, I have not forgotten you. I will get, get going on that this weekend, so just hang in there, and I'll try to get your address and everything from you as well. So, okay, off with the, um, the whips. I did the, um, the wheel. And I posted numerous pictures of the wheel, um, tiny decisions app. I wanted to pick a design every evening at six o'clock so I could choose something to stitch on that night and then all day the next day, right? Right. It lasted for like a, um, be honest with you, it lasted for like a week and a half. And the problem with that, like you saw in my last video, we actually ended up with uh, two deaths in our church. The lady that I ended up with all the fabric from. And then um, I had a gentleman in our uh, church also that had uh, passed away as well two days later. So, it, you know, just stuff happens and, and I get it. And, and it, yeah, it was a rough week. So, uh, anyway, I just totally bombed out. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to put that stress on me anymore. Uh, Cheryl, I, I apologize. I failed on trying to do any homework things. Because a lot of that, ooh, look at that. A lot of the homework stuff is great motivation, y'all. And, you, and you've got to stick with it. That's the thing. And I was using my whips and the random comment and trying to get homework things and seeing where it would fit in and stuff like that and put myself. And I think I put myself on a little strict schedule. You know, when you start doing that, it's not fun. And I'm sorry for the player on my glasses, but I can't see you if I don't do it. Well, I can see you, but it doesn't look that great, so I can't see you good. So, anyway, I'll show you some, some lolly stuff that I got going and what I did and what I didn't do. And, and my whips, and I don't remember where I was before, but I know where I am now, right? I don't have no before pictures. I don't have none of it. Uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. See that? This is the one that I said when I get through painting this up i'm gonna put this beauty right here because i think it'll be so pretty look at that hmm that's my whip right now i think i'm doing pretty good i actually changed some of the color here for the side wall of the house i changed it to a variegated thread that i don't have with me at the moment might have known so uh anyway i changed that because it, it gave that variegated look and I wasn't too thrilled about the white on the, you know, on the front side of the house. But I figured the sun must be shining on this side, right? And I did not have a variegated thread that it called for and, and back and forth different colors here. So I opted out for the DMC uh, 436 on the top. Sorry, 436 on the top. So I did what I wanted to do. Now, that was that one. 
Now, the next one, I took it to retreat with me because um, I was I was hoping I'd actually get to work on it. Y'all know we're all tired of looking at this. I'm tired of looking at this. I worked on uh, uh, just a tad of it, and then I put it up, and then uh, Cheryl said, give me that. She said, I'm going to put some stitches in that for you. I'm like, okay, wonderful. And she did. She did five of these over here on the side. And the good thing about that for her, she ended up getting some uh, black stitches in for some of her homework challenges. And, you know, it worked great for her. So we almost got one whole side. I got one more to do up here, and then we're going to take a left or right, whichever way you want to look at it. And we're going to start getting this one going. It's getting a little cooler here this morning in Georgia. And um, so hopefully in the afternoons, if it lasts uh -oh, if it lasts pretty good in the afternoons, then I'll take this on the, on the school bus with me and stitch on this in the afternoons because I won't be having to run to get on a bus with air conditioner. Because I'm about to die in that 97 degree heat. It was actually 85 here yesterday. It was nice. It's cloudy today. I'm not a professional. Never claimed to be a professional. So if, if the light's not bright, then I'm sorry. I could turn my big light on over here. And then uh, and then we could get that big, huge glare. You know, that kind of stuff, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Can you see me? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think it does fine without it. It'll be good. I'm not going to worry with it. Okay, moving right along here, moving right along. Uh, Hands-on design. I actually did work on this one at Retreat. Kathy Barrett. Kathy Barrett. What am I? I who is that? that? I got a Kathy Barrett in here. No wonder. I'm so sorry, people. I'm so sorry, Kathy Hoverman. Kathy Hoverman, I'm so sorry. Love these things. I'm working on October. This little ghouly looking one right here. I don't know if that's a ghost, a, a skeleton behind something, trying to moon somebody or something. I don't know what that thing's doing. I ain't figured that one out. I did work on it, though, at the retreat, and I got a lot of my um, uh, tree done. So I was really proud of that. Wonderful proud of that. I'm glad I got that going. Oh, and, the, and my, my needle minder. So if you came to the retreat, the Nashville retreat, not Nashville retreat, the Knoxville Retreat with Cindy. Everybody got one of these. I made little needle minders for the ladies that came and all that good stuff. So they had a little bling bling on the back. And then um, my little business name on the front. And uh, I'm working on a new business logo concept. Thank you for my new stitchy friend, Kelly Stagola. Uh, Stadola, Stadola, Stagola. Kelly! Uh, that's so Kelly Co. She gave me a lot of business pointers. I got educated. I got educated. So Kelly, I'll be in touch with you. Don't you worry. Um, spooky countdown. It's my copy. I did just very, very little on this one. Kind of mindless stitching. I think I had, finished up this one. Had a little bit of this going, and I started another one. I'm doing all this at one time. This one probably really should be my bus project because it's nothing to think about nothing at all this is on uh, 14 count ada fiddler's claw and uh yeah i got that one going really really well and like i said that probably should be my bus project got that in one of these huge bags that i thought i was gonna need for that hopper and hollow and ultimately i moved it into another satchel so i don't need that one anymore Oh, let me show you people. I forgot. There it is. I'm glad I saw it. Um, I have to come back to it, but I got to take it out. Okay. All right. We had a lot of fun up there at the retreat. We laughed. We giggled. We, we hissled. And we just had a wonderful time. I had no idea what that was. Um, It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the getaway. I slept. I slept like a crybaby. At night, oh, uh, just crashed and burned at night. And I woke up about 5, 5.30 every morning. And that was the best part about it was I was actually getting some sleep. That was my main thing. You know, sometimes body needs rest. And my body needs some rest. So, I enjoyed that. Uh, Mirabilia, I did stitch on some of this. And I think I stitched on some of this before, Miss Christmas. I have uh, Jennifer Upton to thank for this chart. She's loaned this chart to me. Jennifer, I haven't forgot about you, honey. I know this is yours, and it, and it will be way on your way back. 
Have y'all seen um Jackie with Cross My Stitches? She started this and blew right past me. I started it on a 28 count, 32 count blue fabric from um, Hands On Design. I had to put it up. So I caved. I ended up going to a 14, uh, 14, maybe it's 18. No, this is a 14 count because I found out I could actually do much better with this. So, um, so huge. Let me just fold it up a little bit. You see, I got something on there. This is part of her dress. This is like that middle section. Oh, let's see right here. Move this right in here. So, yeah, I did pretty good. I got going pretty good on this. I haven't swapped colors yet. So, uh, anyway, I did. Oh, why following this chart's a little blurger. This, I mean, I'm just going to show you. I, I ended up in the bottom corner, which actually ended up being the center. And look at that. That's where I am. You. Yee! So, all that pink's marked off and yellow's marked off. I'm, I'm working on it. I will never be able to get mine as finished as fast as Jackie has. Jackie's is turning out beautiful people. Y'all need to... Go watch her last video where they made it to Arizona. That's a traveling woman right there. She's coming south. Uh, winter's coming up north, so she's having to get her little duds back in the south area a little bit so they don't get snowed in up there. So, uh, got that. When we were at the retreat, I'm all over the place, so just run with me, y'all. Just run wild with me. Uh, Kathy from Crafty Cat, she gave us all a super cute kitty kitty needle minder. We could actually pick out which one we wanted. So I got this one from her. I love it. It's super, super cute. I love that. Thank you so much. And I don't have it here with me. Another one of the stitchers there gave us a thread of 310 floss. Oh, I must have put it in here. Um, There it is. 310. I got some 310 floss. And I started this... 310 floss because I needed to start something else. I started working on this and here's my how does this go? This way. Started working on my hat. I got this chart from Lynn, Mc, Lynn that lives south of me. She gave me, she gifted me this chart and this fabric because I said me please on her little uh, giveaway thing she posted so I got that. And she in that thread, she gave us some cute little leaves, fall leaves, and some tea. Well, I'll be poo. I don't know where I laid it. That's the weird thing. Do y'all do stuff like that? I do that stuff. Oh, there's another thing over here. I do stuff like that all the time. I just forget where I put stuff. Oh. I believe I don't have this over here. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't. I don't know. Um. Then I ended up. Uh, we had another little gifty thing. We got this right here. Miss Connie. Connie gave these away to all of us, and it's some thread drops. She made them all for us and had a table full of them. Said y'all help yourself. So I did. I got me a set of them. I love them. I'm going to have to hook them up in a project somewhere. I'm going to use them, so don't you fret. I will be using that. It was a Georgia-Tennessee football game that Saturday, y'all. Downstairs in the lobby around the corner where we were uh, stitching in, they uh, they put out um, stuff on the table for us to go out there and sneak snack on. Well, we did. They were cupcakes, and they said if we were Tennessee fans, we could have one. Well, I'm not a Tennessee fan. I'm a Georgia fan, but I got to keep that football. It came on top of my cupcake. I got to keep that. So, uh, Georgia won. It was all good. It was all good. It was a good game. It was a close game, and I enjoyed watching it. So, yay. Also, in my bag, I got, um, we got goodie. We got this. We got this bag, and peeking out of this bag is one of Kelly's new designs. I got this from her. She had the finish there, and it was just simply so stinking cute. 
I loved it. So I had to purchase this from Kelly because I wanted to try it. And I love that little mouse in there. And when I was purchasing, I, I broke down and got me a Bitsy Bob. I don't have a Bitsy Bob. This is my first Bitsy Bob. And I've been using my Bitsy Bob because I posted a picture of that thing. I had to had to show everybody I'm using it. I got these, I got these pins from something else. So here's my Bitsy Bob. Scissors are hanging. I got a pretty good large pair of scissors too. And they got a Keith, uh, Keith, scissor five on them with a school bus on it. So I'm using it and I'm using it with my, uh, October stitching project. So it's working out great. I'm not complaining one bit, not one bit. I like it. I really do because I've been putting threads all over my table, all over my coffee table. My husband's like, you keeping that? You're going to keep that stuff? I'm like, yes, I'm going to keep it. So I got my Bitsy Bob. Right, I need to open this stuff out. And you know what? I got an appointment. And I'm going to have to run. I got to run. I'm going to come back. And when I get back, I'm going to show you all my goodies that I got in my bag from Cindy over at the Cross Stitch Retreat in Knoxville. So I got to run for now. And I'll be back. And it'll be like just a minute for you people. And then uh, we'll hook up. And I'll show you all my goodie stuff later. Okay? See you in a minute. Bye. Let me see. Uh, okay. Yeah. A lot of glare anyway i'm back i went to the dollar tree right okay i told y'all I, I got some cool stuff a lot i got a lot of cool stuff right it's hung up and i can't figure out how to unhang it so anyway i'm just gonna try to whoo, messing it up but anyway went to dollar tree and i got the last minute you know sale i got one of these and look at the fingerprint stuff oh it's just terrible it's like a chalkboard thing Anyway, you know, it's on this cheap, cheap uh, chipboard or wood type substance, that kind of thing. So let me tell you, I got this. Look, look see, I left my fingerprints on. It's okay. I'm going to sand it and I'm going to move the little leaf up and out of the way gently and carefully. And I'm probably just going to remove this too. But I got this and then I eased on over there to the paint. We don't have the fancy craft uh, area like a lot of the people are getting now. Maybe our new Dollar Tree has it. It's on the other side of town, seven miles away, so I haven't decided to go over there yet. But anyway, I got this, and then I'm eased on over there to the paint stuff, and I found this. It's got a lot of paint on it. So homegirl is going to paint this, sand this down a little bit, and get a little rough edge on it, and then I'm going to paint this. And then I'm going to use this for my finishing for fall things. My first finish I'm going to put on that um, October house from Country Cottage Needleworks. I'm going to put that on here probably next year because October will be over by the time I finish it, right? So it's really got a cute little hanger thing on it, you know, that kind of stuff that you can hang it up or you can do whatever, you know, I don't know. But anyway, for a dollar, yeah, two bucks, yes, it's a perfect finish. So y'all keep an eye out for these little things right here. Our Dollar Tree's already moving into some of the Christmas stuff, right? Okay, well, when I was there, I went on and said, you know what? I'm getting one of these. It's the uh, wooden, balsa wood type thing, and it's the snowflake. Well, I've got paint, and I've got a little bit of glitter, and i got shellac, and i got all that kind of spray adhesive stuff, and I'm going to fix this little jewel up and use it for some type of fall finish on here as well. So y'all keep an eye out. And this is my purchases from the Dollar Tree. See you in a minute. Bye. Hey y'all, I'm back. I tell you, um, yesterday after I got back from the Dollar Tree, I, I stopped and I said I was going to try to grab something right quick. Y'all, I turned around and it was time uh, to get on the bus. I didn't even have time to do anything. So I apologize. It is now October the, um, what day was it? it's October 10th. It's the next day. I had to run, and then I had to go back by the bus shop and all, too. So, yeah, it was just a busy afternoon, so I had to leave again, and I had to leave early, and I apologize. So, anyway, I've got, got my other shirt on. My dog's over here behind me making racket. Made me think, at least I can do this, and somebody comes up behind me, I'll see him. And y'all let me know, too, right? Don't let nobody get me, you know, it's Halloween. Don't let nobody sneak up behind me. I can look out my window and I can see what's in front of me and I can see what's been coming in behind me. So anyway, we got it all covered. Okay, I talked about my Bitsy Bob. I talked about Kelly's chart. I talked about the little stitchy stuff. 
I talked about Crafty Cat. Uh, gave me, gave us all a cute little button. Uh, needle minder. Well, I have other little things that I got. So when we were there at the, oh, I guess I could tell you. Hi, I'm Victoria. Anyway, this is a recap about the. Um, I shouldn't tell you, Victoria. It's all in one film. Why do we do that? We make vlogs and then we come on every day and say, hey, I'm so-and-so. Hey, I'm so-and-so. Hey, I'm so-and-so. Well, we know who you are. It's one big, long video, right? I don't know. I guess when we hit record, we think we're just going gonna to start something new every time, right? <sighs> Take a breath. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you what I actually got at my um, Cindy's Cross Stitch retreat because we got one of stuff and I gotta look on my camera because I gotta get a picture I don't remember all the ladies names I took a picture of everything and everybody so but I got this Cheryl was so sweet she come around and gave us all okay. ain't got nothing behind it because you gonna see right through it we'll do this gave us all a cute little nightlight and some emery boards for our fingernails which i need to cut right there it's too long so um uh, and it's a night light it's so cute i plugged it in the first time when i got home and it was perfect it was perfect right right, right around that corner right there i plugged it in in my dining room and it and it kissed out a little light from the little doggies in case i have to come get something to drink in the night and some water or something like that it turned out wonderful wonderful Thank you so much, Cheryl. It's just super cute. And then she gave us this with love from Cheryl. Yay. Now, along with that, because, you know, we missed some ladies there. So some ladies actually missed out because we could choose one or the other. And because the other ladies was didn't make it, we also got a wonderful little jar. And the jar had a... um. A candle holder thing that you could put one of them battery operated candles on the inside of it or a, a candle candle well i didn't burn mine it was pumpkin i burned that it's gone i might as well take it out and throw it in the trash that thing's done it's been spent i gotta get me a uh i got a battery operated light somewhere but anyway look at that y'all i don't know if you can see through it or not yeah it's got the same logo on it so this was super cute and along with this she had these packaged up with uh the same little uh setup with some emery boards and then another sign because this would have been someone else's gift and uh so you know but thank you so much Cheryl this was so sweet so sweet she made us all one and that was wonderful I gotta tell you before I forget because I put this in there when we went we went out to eat um I went to Whole Foods and grabbed a bunch of goody stuff off the buffet thing for lunch uh, on Friday. And Saturday, I did the same thing for Saturday for lunch, too. So it was fantastic. We had, um, I forgot what I had Thursday night. Forgot what I had for dinner Thursday night. Oh, my hair. Yeah. Um, anyway, Thursday night, I went out to eat somewhere. Me and Kelly and Cindy. I don't even remember. I'm so sorry. I don't even remember what I ate. That's too long ago. I can't remember that far back. And the only reason why I remember this is because I remember where we ate. Anyway, and then Saturday night, the whole team got together. All of us. We got together and we all shuttled in cars and back and forth and stuff. Went basically by around the corner to P.F. Chang's and had dinner there. It was fantastic. I had egg rolls and I had edamame, edamame, edamame is what I call them, um, and shared them with table ladies around me and all that. And then at the end of our meal, that was what I got. And then Lorraine gave me some of her chicken and rice, so I ate some of her stuff, and it was fantastic. I tried some sake. Don't like sake, so if you like sake, kudos to you. I don't like the sake. Sake was yuck. Didn't like the sake. Um. And this was Saturday. Oh, yeah, I think it was Saturday. It may have been Friday. It was Friday. I'm sorry. It was Friday night. I went in on Thursday. Went in early on Thursday. So, But, yeah, this was Friday night. We went to P.F. Chang's. 
So when we were there, we got the little um, fortune cookie thing at the end, at the end of our meal, right? So at the end of my meal, I got my fortune cookie, and they say, don't read it. It's bad luck. It won't come true. Or if you do read it, it is good luck. I've always heard that you don't let somebody hand you a fortune cookie because that cancels the fortune. You're supposed to just pick your own off of I don't know what all the little, you know, myths, wives tale, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Anyway, I opened it up, ate my cookie, and then I, I read mine. And mine said, the weekend ahead predicts enjoyment. So I thought, well, that was a pretty good one because Friday was fantastic. Saturday, we had a blast, and Sunday was just kind of you know, get your things and time to go home. So, uh, yeah, my little fortune, it, uh, it fit the bill. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, anyway, it fit the bill, so I was keeping that. I thought that was cute. Fun and enjoyment. Can't go wrong with that. Now, back to the, ooh, regularly scheduled programming. On the freebie table. I picked up a bag that had something in it, and I thought, oh, what is this? This is super cute. I said, I got to get this. It had, and of course, I put it over there. It had some of that thread that's, hold on, I'm going to get it. I see it from here. Hey, no judgment. This way I dress when I drive a bus, y'all. I dress, I dress comfortably. Yes, and the weather was fantastic. It was 61 this morning. Yeah, come on, fall. Come on, fall. Come on, cool weather. Anyway, um, F-I-N-C-A thread, number eight. It had this. It had some of these in the bag, and I was like, oh, I like those. I didn't want to get them all because somebody else might have wanted one, but there was like red and black and white, and it was a beige color, and I was like, number eight. Never stitched with none of this. I've heard a lot of people use some of this stuff, number 12. Um, I think the lower the number, the bigger the thread. So, anyway, I picked this up. It was number eight. And also in that thing was this. It's a homemade little, you know, scissor keeper, thread keeper, I don't know, cell phone. Got to run in the store. I mean, and on here, and I know it looks like eyes and a crazy looking nose, but on here is two super cute pen um pens marker pens Ooh, look at them fingers i gotta get my nails i gotta babysit on my fingers and cuticles but anyway there was two of them in there and i thought well that is so cute and on our table because i'm i'm the junk girl and that's that's stopping we'll tell you about that in a minute uh on my table i brought junk i brought junk i didn't want to call it crap i just brought junk so i had a bag of this on my table so on my way home i got in the car and i said oh i said i gotta put my junk up here in the front seat with me when i had a little cooler and had a uh, some gatorade that i got from the hotel i kept them cool and i had a bottle of water a uh, bag of some chips and you know that kind of stuff for the drive home because i just about refused to stop i left at 10 i left at 10 o'clock and i pulled in my driveway at 2 Three o'clock. I had to stop one time. I pulled in the driveway at three o'clock. So, anyway, I put my bubble gum in this thing and had it sitting over there in the seat, in my passenger seat, and down the road we went. So, if I wanted a piece of gum, I just reached right over and got it right out. So, I don't know who made these. There was two of them. And I think, I want to say Cheryl got the other one, but I'm not for sure now. I can't remember who got the other one. But, um, Anyway, I don't know who made them and brought them along with this thread because this thread was in the same bag with this. And I would like to tell you thank you so much because I enjoyed that little bag all the way home like a little pig. Wee, 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 all the way home. And it kept my candy. And now when I get going here around town and busy work and stuff, I think I'm going to use that as a little mini pocketbook. I'm going to throw my cell phone in it. See, my cell phone will fit right in there. I'm good to go. So, that was a score. That was a score. Now, also on this freebie table, that Cindy, she brought stuff to get rid of. And I thought, oh, I don't know why she's doing this. She's got some yummy, yummy goodness on there. She shouldn't do us like that. But she did. And I thank you for it. Thank you, Cindy. I sure do appreciate it. 
Oh, I ended up with a piece of 9 by, uh, well, it ain't a 9 by 13. I ended up with some 36 count dirty Edinburgh. Something more like that. Yeah, it is about a 9 by 13. Yeah, it's 9 by, it's long. Yeah, it's long. 9 by 13. I, I snagged me a piece of that. And this was really neat because I've never seen this color. And I'll find some 32 count smoked pearl Belfast. Kind of a gray color. I like that. And this is also a 32 count flax Belfast. It's kind of loose weave. And it's got flubs and slubs in it. So it's a little different. It's not real big. It's big enough. That's the thing. It's just big enough. With a little uh, ornament or something on it. Then I got a hand-dyed fabrics by Stephanie. It's linen, blue sky opal. Okay, linen, opal, blue sky, 28 count, 18 by 26. Ooh, look at that. That's going to be perfect for a long project. That's why I got it, because it was long. And look at it. I don't know. You can't pick up the glitter. You know y'all how to try to show that glitter and that sparkle. Sun's coming, so it should pick up something. I don't know if it's picking it up or not, but can you see it close up? Let's see if you can see what I see. I don't even know if you can see what I see. Yeah, there we go. Y'all see some of that? I see it over here in the reflection. Come this way. Where are you at? Can you see it in the reflection? Oh, it's so pretty. I love this. Yes, I like it. Sorry about that. I want to jerk you around, right? Anyway, I thought that was super cute. I got that. And then there was um, there was an under the sea fabric. And it was a 28 count linen. Rose murder. I don't think I've got a rose murder. Look at that. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. That's a nice project piece right there. So I've got a few big projects. I'm going to have to use this one for one. And then I scored a beautiful violet color. And it said it was a 28 count cashel linen, 18 by 27. I can't open it all up. Look at that. It's a gray. It almost looks gray, but it's not gray. It's purple. It's a light violet color. So I scored that one. And then one other one. Oh. Barn Owl 32 count. Oh. Birds of a feather. Barn Owl. I like it because I kept the tags on it because it makes it sweet. Look at that. And it's long. It's good. It's, it's got a little chunk cut out here for an ornament. It's got a yellow hue to it. Um, that's really pretty. I like this. It's small. What did I say? 32? Yes, 32. And then, I don't know if that, that was one I was working on. This one, I was working, this one right here. This is a, another one of them 30 count weeks dye works confederate gray. Now look at this. This reminds me of the one that I was trying to give away in the drop that I that I did give away. Mercy, I can't find nothing in my drawing. And the only difference, I think that other, it's amazing how I can't find anything. The only thing is, I think it is a more, there it is. Raw linen? More raw linen, I guess. That's the only thing I can say. This is the one that, the, these are the ones that I'm giving away. It's a 32 count. See the look of that? And see the look of this? There's a difference in color. And there's a difference in the in the threads. This is a little more tight, a tighter weave than the, this weave. So, and this one is a 30 count. And this is a 30 count. So, Confederate gray. So I, I thought about it after I picked it up. I thought, well, you got something like that and you're getting rid of it. But it's not as loose. This is a, 
I don't know. Maybe it's because it's already cut in small cuts. Maybe that's why I'm not too thrilled about it. Maybe I like it because it's a bigger pieces of something. I don't know. I'm learning. I don't, these different things. That's why I just stick most of the time with eight and just be done with it. So, um, because I don't never know. Oh, this is where we went to eat. We went to a place called Aubrey's. Aubrey's. That's right. I forgot. That was a pretty cool place. Now, that was different. It was definitely different. See, I kept a receipt. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you for teaching me to keep all my receipts and all that stuff. And then here's my hotel where I stayed at on uh, Thursday night. And, you know, I save everything. That's what Wendy's told us to do. Here's my chopsticks from P.F. Chang's. We all ended up getting us some of them if we wanted to. I don't have a PF change near me, so, you know, I had to get that. Okay, back to the preview table. Plum Street. I snagged this. Is that not cute? I know everybody's probably already seen it and done it, stitched it last Easter, but I didn't. I like it. I like the floral piece the most, so I'm not for sure about this rabbit that looks like a rabbit. I don't know about that, but I love the floral piece. That's actually why I got it. And then I got it, too, because I thought, ooh, be pretty on that. Okay. Then I picked up uh, New York Dreamer Wintertime. I've seen somebody stitch this last year, and I forgot who actually stitched it. Obviously, Cindy must have stitched it, but uh, I seen it last year, and I said, ooh, I like that i said oh let me get my fingers on that i have a napkin around here and i need it why do we lose stuff and we're sitting right here literally on top of it now i need a tissue that'll work um so i got that i thought that was cute now and that'll work on that pillow if i have to use it on the pillow then I also picked Zippity Doo Da Zippity A. My oh my, what a wonderful day from Lottie Da. You can't, yeah, that's about as good as I can get. I like that. It says, Doo -doo -doo -doo. And that may work on that long piece, the other long piece. You know, you remember, right? Do you remember which one I'm talking about? Okay. Oh, and I did get one. I did get another little piece of this blue. Look at that. Oh, I wish it would show up. Now I know y'all have a hard time. And I'm sitting in front of a big old bay window. Okay. I don't know what count it is. I thought this was super cute. And I got this because... Why did I get that? I had a chart of something. And I said, whoo, that would be pretty on that. I know. I'll show you in a minute. Then we got some chronic... Uh, in Cindy's bag, we all got a little spool of chronic, and then a cross-reference chart was attached to it. So, you know, if you're looking for a color, then uh, this will be an easy way to help you out with that chronic that I have never used yet. So, uh, yeah, we'll skip that one down. Um, that's where I stayed at the hotel, my receipts. Uh, got a business card from Miss Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Um, then she gave us, also, Kelly also gave us this. It's a, uh, thread keeper. Can you Kelly give us this? Yes. And you can write on it and, and dry, um, not dry erase. What do you call it? Oh, like alcohol marker. You can erase it off with alcohol. I like that. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. That was sweet. Uh, oh, Lord, here's another receipt. Whew. Do y'all keep receipts? Chick-fil-A. That was on my way up. I had to swing by Chick-fil-A and grab me a bite of lunch. Save that receipt. Okay, also in her bag, she gave us a thread, a piece of weak style work, cotton floss, desert. I'm not even going to try. And I didn't think nothing much of it to start with, but then I got to looking at it. Look at all that variegation in it. So pretty. So pretty. Then we got a pack of 26. I got 26. I don't know if everybody got 26. I don't know what who everybody got what, but I got a pack of uh, 
bowing needles. Mm -hmm. Bowing needles. <laughs> like them. And then we got a little piece of Pashamana, Pashamana Gloriana threads. Medium gold, number 292. That's a real pretty color. And this just looks so soft, 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 soft. Extra fine. The four strands are eight extra fine strands. Hand dyed by Gloriana. Oh, that's so soft. Ooh-wee. That's just like butter. And it looks like butter. And this is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight strands. Actually, there's more than eight. But, let me see if you separate it. Two and two. I don't think you can go back and separate each one of these. But there's three in each one of these. Looks like maybe two spun together. But, oh, that's so soft. like a cotton ball. I don't, man. It's like a fancy little cotton ball. Okay, and and all this came in this bag, besides the freebie table stuff. All this came in this bag. I never had one of these. It's huge. It's bigger than my um project bag, y'all. I'm telling you, it's bigger than my project bag. It's big. My project bag will fit in here. So let me go buy the other little goodie stuff we got. I thought this was so sweet. Thank you so much, Cindy. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Got some threads. Uh, another lady, I, oh, I had to find my phone. Uh, she come around and gave us a little stuff. I told you earlier about that. She gave us a thread of uh, Black 310. And I needed that because I didn't even have any. And uh, it was sitting out there on the table for all of us to get. And uh, it was wonderful. I love it. I love it. Uh, where was I sitting? Let me find my table. Heidi, Brandy. Sure. Oh, I got to turn this thing around. I don't even know where I was sitting. That's terrible. But um, anyway... Sarah, Sarah gave a, I believe it was Sarah that gave us the black thread and some, and I couldn't find it yesterday. I got, I had a, had a little main, um, uh, punches of, uh, fall leaves and stuff. It was so cute. It was all decorated up in fall. Thank you, Sarah. Now that I got your name, I'm sorry. It's been a little while. I forget quick. I do. I forget quick. Anyway, got these two gorgeous threads together. I thought that was so pretty. And then we got a sunflower to hot glue on a project. And then we got a super cute tag, like a scissor keeper or name tag keeper, something that Cindy got somebody to make for her, for us. Is this not cute? This pulls out like a name tag holder. You put your scissors on it. Cindy had her scissors on hers. Uh, a couple of other ladies did too. So that was so sweet. We got that gorgeous looking sunflower on there. I love that. That was just too sweet. Thank you, Cindy, so much for that. That was wonderful. And now, you know, got to get it back in the bag. Okay. Then she gave us this little thing right here. I'm like, ooh, what is this? What is this? I opened it up and thought, ooh. And it is a commemorative button for the Knoxville retreat. Let me get back a little bit. There we go. Knoxville Cross Stitch Retreat 2019. And it's a button. Isn't that cute? I love that. That is just too neat. I've never seen a personalized button so i was nice 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 gift i'm gonna keep that definitely i'm gonna pin that up up on my uh commemorative bulletin board for all my retreat info that's where i'm sticking stuff so cindy cindy just went way out on a lot of this stuff for all of us it was just too sweet i love it thank you so much i, I appreciate all the yummy goodness that we got the threads the needles the charts, the material, there's no excuse. We we can stitch all the things. We can start all the things. We can go crazy with this stuff. I'm not going to put my material in there. But the best thing, and I don't know. I'm hoping everybody else that makes a video shows theirs. Because this is why I bought the blue 
not bought them. Got the blue fabric. Where did I put it? My goodness. My head wasn't screwed on mine. I don't know what I would do. Look at that. That blue. You can't even see it. Anyway. We had a chart that was designed for us. And I think it's going to come out next year. I'm not for sure. But here's the chart. Kathy. She designed this chart for Cindy. For us. For this retreat. And Cindy had hers there. And uh, she had her chart signed by Kathy, which was wonderful. And I love this. I love this. I thought this was super sweet. Super, super sweet. Now, on mine, I've already started. I started mine at the retreat. And I stitched on mine. And y'all, I'm telling you what. I don't know what three account this was, but it was so easy. And I actually had to use my own colors that I had in my stash because I didn't have the colors called for here. So mine's going to be a little different. And there's mine. I got a good start on mine. No, I have not stitched on it none since I've been home. Absolutely not. I haven't stitched on anything since I've been home. I've been busy. So I think my colors, the red and uh, burgundy here, they're reversed. Uh, they're swapped around some, something like that. I got them swapped. So, like I said, none of my colors matched at all. Um, and within this was some more of them fancy little markers. Woo, you can't even see it. There we go. Okay. The um, Lady Dot Creates gifted us with these. Here we go. Got three of them in there. And that's sweet. Lady Dot. There's the information. Freeze frame and then y'all can go get the information. I thought that was so cute. And I'm not for sure if the mother little pins, if they're Lady Dots or, or the uh, just another button company. I'm not for sure where them came from, but they were stuck in my little bag when I got that bag. So there these are my colors so far. And it sort of looks like the chart. See the red color? See, mine's really a bright red. Because that's what I had. I used what I had because I was determined to start the cute, cute little chart there. I wanted to. I had to. So, Cindy, the retreat, like I said, it was great. Thank you so much for hosting it. Thank you for being so sweet. You did a great job. Uh, I understand this is your first retreat, so I appreciate it. I hope you do more. Please come back and do some more for us. And uh, don't be a stranger. We love you. And um, thank you so much. Come back and visit and, and keep us posted. You know, we like to stay posted with our friends and all that good stuff. So, okay. Oh, let me show you. See if I can show you on my phone the Cindy's chart cindy stitched that chart for us so we could see it at the retreat and i know i took a picture of it i'll have to insert some wonderful pictures now that i'm looking through it oh yeah yeah i forgot oh mr mike cummings mike cummings came and visited us and you say who is mike cummings you say mike cummings is a cross stitcher that was there for a wedding and lo and behold he pops up at the window and shows us a bag with his cross stitch stuff in it it was a fox it was gorgeous it was cute it was cute 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 cute, cute. he is stitching cross stitch items for uh the main character on the blacklist for next season uh i believe the lady that was with them Maybe it's been his mom. I forget who she was, but ooh, look at that hair. That's what happens when you wear your hair back, ladies. You break your hair. Uh, he was the, um, I think she said season seven on the blacklist. Season seven, episode seven of the next upcoming season. I don't know. There's so many seasons out there now. It's unreal. I got to watch the blacklist because I got to catch up with it and understand the characters and then get going. And when you do, you'll end up seeing Mr. Mike's projects that he's stitching for this person in the in the, in the the show. And I'm thinking, well, that's just wonderful. Who could have asked for anything better than that? And um, 
it was nice to get to meet him. So we all, you know, fangirled and we got our picture made with him. And then, um, yep, there, right before the Georgia game, there was the um, referees was in the lobby. So, you know, I had my Georgia shirt on. So needless to say, I run out there in that lobby and I tried to snap pictures of them. But they were actually about to walk out the door. So I didn't catch them. I'll insert a picture there. Um, Saturday evening. Cindy ordered us a, a fancy, fancy pizza, Chicago-style deep dish. It was fantastic. The pepperoni, go for it. They left the pepperoni off. It was total cheese. It was delicious. Um, Cindy got some wonderful gifts from some of the other ladies. Jerry made a wonderful little quilt piece there. Uh, Kelly made another little pillow, cross-stitch pillow. There was some project bags. There was a crochet thing. There was a bitsy box. I'm going to insert all these pictures for y'all so you can see because everything she got was wonderful, and I'm sure she's just totally just super excited about receiving all her wonderful little gifts. They were su super cute, super cute. She she did a wonderful job, and, and I thought that was great. And I saw the picture, and I had to flip it. And then... The best thing of all, and I'm hoping she'll do a video about it and all that kind of stuff, was that Lorraine, Rags to Stitches USA, she came up in there with one of them pumpkins from the um, Galleria last year. I think it was Galleria last year. She came in with one of them pumpkins where they had to drill holes in it and designs in it for you and stuff. Well, she brought that thing. And she worked with that thing and worked with that thing. Next thing you know, she started passing that thing around and said, here, y'all stitch on it. And then everybody here can stitch on my piece. And that's what we did. She passed that pumpkin around to several of us. And we all put in some stitches and we finished it for her. So she started it and finished it at the retreat. Kudos, Lorraine. Um, Lorraine was my camping partner. And that was wonderful. We had a good time. Um, that's about it. So, anyway, just want to say hey again and let y'all know everything's wonderful here. We got a few stitchy things we got to get going. I'm going to insert pictures at the end. Thank you for coming and liking and subscribing and visiting. And keep an eye on me because I am working on uh, bags. I've ran out of batting. I use heavyweight batting, so I ran out. I got to order me some more. Miss Joanne has it in stock, so I got to order some more of that get my bags going again and thank you to those who purchased a bag at the retreat i appreciate it appreciate your support Teresa. um diddle daddle i will be contacting you because i've got to get a bag from you and uh yeah all that good yumminess right so anyway ladies and gents and friends of all ages y'all have a wonderful day and thank you so much and y'all stay tuned for the pictures at the end and i will catch you all on the flip side bye